Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Am I recording? Yes, I am. No, no, no. Oh, look at that. I popped that up when I hit F12. That's just funny. Hold on. Let's go ahead and keep doing that. Has anyone ever actually looked through this? That is amazing. Wow. The things you learn by being dumb. Um, yeah, sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, it is shocking for fun here. I don't even know why I said ladies. If there are any ladies watching this, hello. Uh, this guy apparently downloaded this map and still had to play it. He was angry. This is the usual GL, HF, fuck you kind of stuff you get on the ladders. Uh, yeah, so I was pretty proud of this build. Uh, I did it horribly. I'll start, I'll start off with saying that. I did it terribly. You will see later. And, uh, yeah, uh, I randomed. Uh, hit, I knew I was going to hit Zerg because I all, every time Protoss pops up, I always get put a Zerg. Because that is my worst matchup right now. Uh, I, I don't know why. Just I used to dominate with it. I used to... I don't even know. I used to just dominate with just Lings. And now, nowadays, they seem to have learned. Protoss seem to have learned. And I suck. So that doesn't help. Especially playing one racers. That's what I call them. One racers. Sounds kind of stupid. Sounds like some like Mad Max slang or something. You should be, though. Should be what? Should be worried or whatever he said earlier. Stupid, stupid. I was gonna troll him, but I, it was like ten o'clock in the morning. I, I didn't have, I didn't know what to say. But it's always good to troll people on the ladder, get them, get them distracted and such. Such. I said that. Worried about my incoherent rage. I don't really know what this guy's talking about. So yeah, I early pool against Protoss nowadays because I'm scared of. Um, scared of cannon pushes on my expo and then getting contained which aren't if you get contained it's not so big of a deal but if you get like if your expansion is up and it gets pooped on it's something worth crying about i mean it really is uh obviously i i was stupid here i didn't even scout i ended up scouting like up to here backing up when i realized his probe came out because i figured it has to be coming from up top it just had to be because of the timing but i was wrong uh, he reacted pretty damn well. He walled out his probe because you want to make sure to have as many idle probes as necessary. Oh, yeah, actually, let's, uh, no, never mind, we'll do that later. Um, he walled out his probe and, um, just kind of sat around. I mean, he's being a little lazy. A little bum. This was really dumb. I saw this. Watch. Oh, oh. <sighs> stupid. Just stupid. Uh, 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 yeah, look how long, that took me at least two seconds after I grabbed them. Uh, supply block myself, because I'm bad, and immediately drop a shit ton of drones trying to catch up. I am so far behind, but actually, after this wave of drones, I start catching back up, and this guy never really, um, in the lower leagues, you'll, you, you'll notice, uh, you never really, well, he immediately starts working away on his forge. You never really do well with weird like pressure and stuff like that people just start forgetting to chrono boo <laughs> oh my god i've never forgot that bad i play random and i've never not chrono boosted that much so, i mean at least at the beginning not until i have like three nexus up uh yeah i do terrible on my injects look at this i i think i just got no i didn't even i'm not even injecting what do you what do you, you're so lazy queen oh yeah let's see what little trick that we found out earlier click on the Look at that. Why does it do that? That's so awesome. You click on the unit portrait and it moves to the unit. That actually does look sick. That's why I play on these high settings, just for little things like that. You should play on the lower settings, honestly, though, so you don't get any sort of video lag. or and You can, like, apparently see the ripples of DTs and stuff easier. Speaking of DTs, I thought maybe he was going DTs. You'll see later. Yeah, he's not. Here's my sacrificial overlord making its way over... Finally, what a fat guy! And you'll see my strategies taking place. I think um, I was thinking about this a lot more. I think Zergs need to stop pulling off gas and getting their layer a lot quicker. You'll see some Korean pros doing this nowadays. They'll get their layer up immediately because I mean it's the you need it for hydras. You need it for anything. You need it for your tier two tech. I mean right now they're starting on their tier two tech just because he has a cybernetic score. You know, it would be stupid to take your cybernetic score out of your build. So, yeah, that's just me saying you should probably stop pulling off gas and get your layer up earlier. 
But this is actually planned just for this strategy. I'm going roaches, evolution chamber. I got scared. I was like, oh yeah, DTs. Uh. Uh, I thought maybe I scared him into DTs, and you'd start seeing them around eight minutes or so, because uh, around seven minutes is when you're going to see rushed DTs, but around eight or nine is when you're going to see DTs that weren't exactly planned. Uh, let's go back to production tab. I was droning up as hard as possible. He's he's talking to himself. I should have trolled him, but I didn't. Uh, Overlord's making their way over. Uh, I like to spread them out. Like a little, I don't know. It's kind of look like there's a V there, so we can kind of call it the Flying V. <laughs> Mighty Ducks, anyone? Anyone? How is Martin Sheen, the dad of... What the hell is his name now? That's going to bug me. Anyway, Charlie and Mighty Ducks guy. What the hell is his last name, though? It always bugs me. They look alike, but... I don't know. Anyway. What, do I, how many times have I said anyway? If I've said anyway more than 20 times, I'm about to start this whole cast back over. Uh, get a spore and spine, because I'm just scared of DTs. DTs are very scary. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I just, I thought I grouped everything together. Apparently, I just moved the drones right there. I'm just like, meh, they're good enough right there. I send uh, the three that came out of, the three roaches that came out of here, I send them over here. Because that's that's where they should go, right? They should go out ahead, just in case there's shit. And I can just back up, back up my four roaches, half my army. <sighs> so yeah. Oh oh, I totally missed. I should probably back up Shay. His sentries actually caught one of my third. Like I, I saw the sentries coming again. He caught one of my third, so he saw that I had speed. So he might he had to have been thinking, what? Who rushes speed? Somebody that's doing this. It's a pretty damn big map. I don't know how I pulled this off. But, anyway. Needless to say, I pulled it off. Spoiler alert. Uh, six spines. Oh, is it seven roaches? So I have, uh, like, some, like, 14 roaches. And I was just doing damn well. His army's bigger, but I have spines in his, in his face. Spines in your face, bitch! Hi. Oh, yeah, that's right. I saw the observer. I was like, hey, how you doing? Oh, yeah, what are you going to do about it, bitch? What are you going to do about it? Uh, something to also note, I should have brought the queen over way earlier. Uh, I got supply blocked, and this queen didn't want to come out for a while, I think. I think that happened. Yeah, of course I got supply blocked. Oh, wow, well, yeah, let's go ahead and drag out. I got supply blocked, and that queen didn't want to pop out. I should have been building another queen. You should always build, co bring queens with this, not only for anti-air, but to heal. Oh, yeah. The Immortal's actually a good choice, but not when you rally it to where your observer was heading. Did not end up killing it. Did end up killing that zealot, though. I mean, did you see that? Who dull over that zealot? Don't mind that. Don't mind me and us trading. You can tell, definitely tell we're in the lower leagues here. Uh, I think this guy's diamond. Yeah, that's sad, I know. He's diamond, he's playing worse than me. But whatever. I ended up just beating a diamond too, so hopefully I'll be back up to back up. I've never in diamond. Hopefully I'll be in diamond in 1v1s at the end of the day or so. Uh, not the best positioning. I should have had maybe an overload a little bit closer so I can make sure to scope out this ledge. Uh, queen should be transfusing. Obviously it's not. I mean, but, like, again, we're in the lower leagues. Ooh, this is crap flag. I don't know if you guys have seen this or not, but hopefully not. Uh, yeah, yeah, I should have been transfusing. I should have been doing a whole lot of things, but, you know, whatever. Oh, wow, look at this. Look at this. How does that guy have... Oh, okay. It's only 1,000. But that's still a shitload, especially considering he's behind in harvesters, I want to say. Wow, no, he jumped ahead. Wow. We were even for a while there. I know we were. You've been watching Idra play. Mm -hmm. No, no, I've been watching Psy play. Old Psy Starcraft. Best caster out there. Idra's good and all, but I don't know. Just not a big fan. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I should have had everything rallying. I was producing the entire time, if you guys didn't notice. <laughs> I say that. Wow. I was. I swear to you, I thought I was. Producing the entire time. And eh, there we go. And I didn't have my army rallied over there. It should have been. You know, you worry about overlords rallying with your army. And, yeah. Guy just leaves. 
he just left just like that <laughs> uh there's there's nothing to it um he did engage a little bit let's go ahead and back up to that he engaged but it was like it was nothing worth leaving over he could have actually won up on me especially considering half my army was back here oh wow that's a little too far back I don't know. I mean, you do want to build stalkers against roaches because the plus armored stalkers. Uh, you you also want way more mortals. You want the sentries with their guardian shield, but that's not happening. Force fields, obviously. I, I don't. I he, I guess he was supply blocked, and he just he just hated his life. He was probably like you know just, just rolling his face over all over the keyboard and stuff. You can watch Idra play. No, no, watch Sai. Watch Idra. Watch Huck. Watch TLO. I love TLO, of course, randomly. So, yeah, this little last engagement, he takes out his spine. I mean, what was that? You could have just sniped that spine, moved out. Anyway, bad players are bad players. Uh, I wanted to, well, I end up transfusing there if you saw that. I wanted to also mention that uh, little tips that a lot of people seem to not have on. Uh, command hotkey text is necessary as a random player because you will forget that C is hallucinate and stuff like that. You will not forget that G is guardian shield and uh, damn. Oh my god. I forgot what force field is. It's gotta be F. It's gotta be. Um, let's see. Yeah, you also want, of course, I think this is always on. I think it's on de default. E health bars and flyer helper for when you're fungling and stuff like that. You don't want to miss the air units when you're like fungling a whole pack of roaches or, or <laughs> when you're fungling a whole pack of flying roaches. When you're fungling a whole pack of flying mutas, especially in team games, so you can do the fungle the mutas and then hit them with archons. Yeah. Yeah. So, or, you know, just uh, any sort of psi storm and stuff like that when you're psi. Basically, when you're hitting mutalisk. Or I guess maybe when you're EMPing battle cruisers, because that comes up a lot, right? Anyway, you need flyer helper always on. Uh, display build grid is just a downright necessity for every race, whatever matchup you're kind of playing, and yeah. Oh yeah, you can also do, dis no, not replay time, you can turn on, yeah, show game timer needs to be on too. Do -do -do. Show that timer, so you can work on your timings and stuff like that. Uh, Alright, well this has been Shiatgen Forfin, and we'll see ya.